Hello everyone, it's me Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this video, we will learn how to make LoRa based wireless weather station which can be powered by battery. This is the weather station that I kept at the top of my roof and I am using BME280 sensor along with BH1750 light sensor and also a rain sensor. Basically, this weather station is monitoring the environment parameters like temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude, dew point, rainfall and light intensity. Using the LoRa, I am able to monitor the data from few kilometer distance. This is the gateway located indoor inside my farmhouse. The gateway is made using LoRa and ESP32 Wi-Fi module. The receiver collects the data from sender and uploads it to the server. I have designed the three systems altogether where you can monitor the data. The first system is the web server. Using the local IP address, you can monitor the weather station data on your web browser either in PC or in mobile phone. You just need to refresh the page to retrieve the data. The second way to monitor the weather station data is the ThinkSpec server. The ThinkSpec server is free. You can simply sign in and configure the dashboard to monitor the data in graphical format as shown here. This is the best way to collect and store the weather station data online. Well, the third method is by using the Blink application. In this method, the ESP32 LoRa gateway connects to the Blink server and pushes the data immediately when it receives interrupt. The parameters like temperature, humidity, rainfall, dew point, light index can be monitored on smartphone. You can choose any of the methods to monitor the weather data. Such a great wireless weather station, you can do it by yourself. So without getting any delay, let's get started. <laughs> video is sponsored by Next PCV. Next PCV is one of the leading PCV manufacturer company in China. Currently, Next PCV is giving free shipping service to all the customers. All you need to do is cure the order. Fill these details like PCV quantity, number of layers, PCV size and all other details. On the PCV assembly part, select quantity, number of PCV, quantity of through holes, number of pads, x-ray testing and go to the place the order. Now you can see the shipping charge is zero. Isn't it great? Now you can place the order by uploading the garbage files and build up materials. And there is one thing you guys need to know. Next PCV is doing a giveaway on his Instagram official account. The prize is programming box and $20 to $30 coupons for PCV and PCVA orders. So visit the link in the video section below. Follow the Next PCV official account and participate in the giveaway. All instructions are easy and hardly takes one or two minutes. Let's begin with the node circuit first. I selected a low power Arduino board. For that, I used Arduino Pro Mini that is powered by 3.3V and runs on 8MHz clock frequency. The BME280 can measure temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, altitude and also the dew point. The BH1750 ambient light sensor measures light intensity in lux. The rain sensor measures the value of rainfall in percentages. The LoRa module I used is SX1278 from AI Thinker. The BH1750 and BME280 sensor works on I2C protocol and LoRa SX1278 works on SPI protocol. The device is powered by 3.7V lithium-ion battery connected to a raw pin of Pro Mini. On the gateway side, we only have LoRa module SX1278 and ESP32 Wi-Fi module. LoRa is connected through SPI pins and this unit is powered through USB cable. So you can see here I am at my farmhouse which is almost 600 meter from my house. I have kept the sender node at the roof of my house. The circuit is assembled on breadboard. You don't need to be panic. I have designed a custom PCV for this project. You can get the PCV garbage file and order it online from next PCV. All sensor can be placed in a small waterproof box except the rain sensor that need to be placed outside to monitor the rainfall. The sensor node operates on very small power and putting the device to sleep mode will increase the battery life. Also removing the unnecessary voltage regulator and using low power LDO or buck converter IC can lower down the power further. The LoRa module operates on frequency 433 MHz but you can select the 868 or 915 MHz frequency according to your reason. You can use any other LoRa module with different antennas for the availability in your reason. Remember this is not a waterproof device so place it inside the waterproof casing. This is the gateway unit placed inside my room 600 meter away from the node. The ESP32 Wi-Fi module is connected to the local Wi-Fi network and the LoRa receives the data from sensor node. Using the ESP32 Wi-Fi module, the data is uploaded to the server.
Let's see the coding part now. The code is for lower sender and the web server receiver. Let's see the sender node code first. We are using few libraries like LoRa library and BM280 and BH1750 library. Then we are defining the LoRa frequency at 433 MHz. The range sensor analog pin is defined here. Then we create the instances for BME280 and BH1750 sensor. We are assigning a string and also the device ID for identification. Under the setup function, we are initializing LoRa and all other sensor. Under void to function, we are calculating the temperature pressure, altitude, and humidity from library. Similarly, using some mathematical calculations, we are deriving the value of dew point. For calculating dew point, the parameter is defined below the code. Then, we are converting the analog value to percentage in order to get the rainfall value using the map function. Check your minimum and maximum analog value for the rain sensor, it may vary in your case. Using this formula, we are measuring the light intensity from BH1750 library. Then, we are printing the data on serial monitor. Using the LoRa message string, we are combining all the variables into a single variable separated by some characters. And finally, using this function, we are transmitting the data packets wirelessly. Now let's just see the gateway code. We are again using the LoRa library. We are using the web server library to create a web server. Similarly, we are defining the SS, RST, and D10 pin. Then, we are defining the string for each individual parameter. Using this Wi-Fi SSID and password, we will connect to the Wi-Fi network. For handling the web server request, we used a function called server.on and server.on not found. Then, we have started the web server. If packet is received, we are parsing the data depending upon the index position of soft string. Here, the individual parameter is extracted and printed on a serial monitor. Then, this data is handled by server handle client. All the remaining function and HTML codes are given below. The HTML code will simply create a web page and display the weather station data on page. Okay, now you can upload the code to the Arduino Pro Mini and ASP32 board. Once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor for both the transmitter and then the receiver part. If every connection are correct, the sender will initialize and start sending the data. On the receiver side, the receiver will connect to the network and will print the IP address. Copy the IP address and paste it on the web browser. The weather station data will be simply displayed in the web browser. You can reload the page to automatic refresh it or simply using the Ajax function in code, you can refresh the data without reloading the page. So that's all about the web server part. Now let's monitor the weather station data on ThinkSpec server. For that, create an account on ThinkSpec server or simply log in if you have created the account earlier. Then create a new channel with following details like temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude, dew point, rainfall, and light intensity. Then go to the API key and copy the right API key. Now let's see the receiver code now. In this code, change the API key from here and replace it with your ThinkSpec channel API key. Change the Wi-Fi access ID and password. Rest of the codes are same. So just to move to this part and from here we are sending the data to ThinkSpec server by defining the field and string values. That's all from this coding part. So upload the code to the ESP32 module. Now again open the serial monitor. If you see the data is sent and received means your node and gateway both are working fine. Now go to the ThinkSpec private view. Here you will see the data logged in in the graphical format. The data is received after the interval of 15 seconds. You can increase the delay. Let's see the blink part code. In this code, we are using few blink libraries. Rest of the code are almost the same. We are just assigning the blink run function and here we are assigning the virtual pin to send the data to blink server. Make sure to change the Blink authentication code from your mobile application. So when the code is uploaded, the ESP32 will connect to the Blink server. Now you can check in your mobile phone. The mobile phone will receive the weather station data. You can again change the delay in the code to receive the data frequently as you want. Well, this is how you can make a wireless weather station. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.